I had a question come to me about the 12.4 homework assignments and mainly these questions that start in five where you're figuring out the z-score. And so I wanted to just demonstrate how they were to be done. So the first thing we do is we read what, the, what it wants and what it's asking for is right here. What is the z-score for the country C's population? Well, we know that for a z-score, I'm gonna to need to know the mean and the standard deviation. And I don't think they've given us that. So let's remember that we're looking for country C's population. Because when I click on this, it gives me all these numbers, right? Population, production, consumption, and we want population. Now, what I want is the z-score for country C's population. Well, country C's population is 136, right? And so um, I need to see how that compares with everybody else. So I need the mean and the standard deviation. So I'm going to hit this little box right here and choose to open it in stat crunch. And what happens is it puts all that data in there, as I, I know you know. Now I'm going to go to stats, summary stats, and I want to work in a particular column. And I want to work with population. And so what I need out of that is the mean. And I'll also choose the standard deviation. And then hit compute. And so it gives me the mean and the standard deviation there. Now I'm going to grab my calculator. And I need to calculate country C's um, z-score. Well, we know the z-score is equal to um, the, the um, country that I care about, which is um, the country C's population at 136. And I'm going to subtract away the mean. Well, what's the mean? The mean is 628.8. And then I'm going to compute that. Right? I'll tell my calculator to compute that. And then I'm going to divide by the standard deviation. So I'm just going to show that calculation here because I can in this guy. But I'm going to divide by um, the 644. I'll just type it over here. 0.9, right? Whatever that happens to be. And I'm going to run that. I'm going to take the 136 minus the 628.8. It equals divide by 644.89201. I'll just type the whole thing in because I can. And here's the z-score that I'm looking at. I'm looking at the z-score negative 0 0.764. And then it keeps going. Okay. And so I'm going to round that however they ask me to. And if I come back here, they want me to find country C's population z-score, and they want me to round it to the nearest tenth. So I'm going to say negative 0 0.8. And that's to the nearest tenth. The tenth is one decimal place beyond. We're going to check that answer. Excellent. Remember, the computer is going to mark you wrong if you're not following the rounding rule. So maybe you have the right answer, but you're not rounding it to the tenth. It's going to say, hey, that's bad. So to demonstrate this one other time, here we are in six, right? Very similar situation. Let's see if it's similar all throughout here. Eight. Okay. Okay. And then, well, it's a different question here. So I'll let five be that one because the question to me was eight through 10. And it says, what company occupies the 25th percentile in population? Okay. Let's see if StatCrunch could help us out. So if we want the 25th percentile, um, actually, StatCrunch may not be the best way to go about this. The best way to go about this is to realize I got five individual populations. And so I'm going to take, let me scoot this off, I'm going to take 25% of, of five. Now, how I'm going to do that is, let me go on my calculator. I can bring up a calculator here that you'll be able to see. How I'm going to do that is I'm going to take... Uh, Sorry, I was trying to move it off to the side and it shut it down. I'm going to take 25%, so 0.25 times 5. I need to figure out what 25% of 5 is, and it's 1.25. That means I should make sure I have a value that has one data point below it. So I'm going to arrange these uh, data points in order. So in order... They are 
40, 144, 326, 1368. And I'm getting a little bit worried. I can't really toggle over to a screen here. So let me type in Word, bring up Word really quick, and make sure that I'm you're understanding what I'm trying to communicate here. So let me put this off on one side, maybe try to take this off over here. And so again, we, we have these population numbers. The lowest one is 40, then we have 144, then we have 326, then we have 1291, and finally we have 1378. And so if you remember, 25% when I took 0.25 times 5. Now, why times 5? Um, let me put it like this. Because uh, there's 5 data points. So the percentile is always off of the total number of data points like you've seen in other videos. The way that we re read this then is I need to ensure that there's one data value below the value I pick. So we're going to choose 144. As I highlight 144, notice there's one data value below it. 144 or country C has that is in the 25th percentile. So I just come here, choose country C, and check my answer, and it's going to tell me I did a good job. So that's how you do these questions. So the third quartile, if you didn't know what the third quartile was, um, the third quartile, um, that is the same as the 75th. percentile. What would I do here? Well, I have to look at my data, make sure it hasn't changed much, and they want consumption. But again, I have five consumption areas. That's all I care about is that I have five. So I'm going to take it's another data set of five, 75 percent times five, and that's going to give me a number. 0.75 times five gives me 3.75. So again, I need to look at the appropriate numbers and just choose the fourth value in. That would have the three data values below it. So if I come over here, I want to remind myself that I'm looking at consumption now. And then I would want to arrange those consumption values in order. So the lowest consumption that I see is 15.9. Then I see a 24.9. Then I see a 25.7. Then I see um, a 97.6. And finally, I see 119.1. So there's my five values in numerical order. I need to choose the fourth one. And again, I'm choosing the consumption values because that's what it's asking about. I'm choosing the fourth one so that I have three below it. And so, perfect. I choose that guy. And who is 97.6? Oh, that's country B. I choose country B check my answer, and it tells me I did it great. So hopefully that provides some help for you. Um, thanks for watching this video.